What's up everybody? Mickey Joe back at you. You guys check it out. Look at this little guy. Tonight I have a Russian single meal. Hey Mickey Joe, where's your right hand? Where's your other hand you might be asking? Well guys, check it out. It's in a sling. It's in a sling because I broke my elbow. Or my, my uh, radial bone right up by my elbow. Right in there. I did that skateboarding. Uh, you do not want to see my face. It is all effed up. It's, uh, whew. So here's what happened. I remember, uh, oh man, I, I was hoping I had very, my tech deck. Very little. Um, yeah, I like, I was trying to grind the edge of a piece of sidewalk, and I remember my board slipping out from under me, and then, the next thing I remember is being in my car, like, jangling my keys in my hand, and the car was like 200 yards from the skate park. And I don't know if I knocked myself out or what. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Long story short. So my arms broke. So what I have here tonight to help me out, because I only got one good hand. Let's check it out, you guys. Right over here. There yeah. we go. We got Mrs. Mickey Joe in the house. She's going to be the hands tonight, you guys. So I'm just going to stand back and talk. Mrs. Mickey Joe's going to be the hands. She's going to help me eat all this good stuff, and uh, we're going to get going. So, once again, Russian single meal. I don't know what menu this is. Um, I mean, I know what's in here, but I don't know if it's like menu 7 or menu A9 or whatever. So, anyway, Mrs. Mickey Joe, want to pop that guy open for me? Do you want to stand behind the camera? We didn't, we didn't really discuss all the logistics, guys. All right, there we go. I did show her how to open these awesome... Russian packages. Now this looks, the packaging is the exact same as the first uh, Russian 24 hour I had. That's way, way, way down in the uh, the list of videos that I've done. Um, but this is going to, you know, it's, it's the same package. Did you get it all? It did not go down far enough. It didn't go down far enough? Do you need a knife or some skizzers? There we go. I think we're getting it, guys. Nope. Do we need scissors? I have scissors. Sorry. Check it out. Yeah, it's it's all good. It's all good. My viewers are well used to this sort of shit. Check it out. We didn't even grab paper towels or a garbage bag. Aha! Classic Mickey Joe video, you guys. That's why you're watching. Because you like how horrible I am. Yeah, look at this little box. Okay, compared to my hand, this is tiny. These usually come in way bigger boxes. Whoa! That's not what I meant to do. All right. Okay, Mrs. Mickey Joe. Let's start pulling things. We got two packs of crackers, ladies and gentlemen. These are the, uh, yeah, the, I don't, I want to say that's a different company or different name of the crackers. They kind of look the same, but yeah, they're the green package crackers. Got two of those. Nice. Set those aside. We have... Uh, that's gonna be our caviar, like our eggplant caviar, the veggie pate. Um, it's sort of growing on me, you guys. I didn't like it the first time. I didn't really like it the second time, but it's not horrible. We have that right there is gonna be a, probably a raspberry sports drink. Uh, we can translate all of this later. Yeah, I'm sure that's gonna be a drink. We have a nice big pack of sugar. Yep, there we go. Nice big pack of sugar. What do we got there? How many grams? 20 grams in that bad guy. Way better than uh, U.S. sugar. I think there's only 7 grams in a pack of that. We have got... Um, whew, I don't know. Coffee, maybe? What does it feel like? Tea? That's a tea bag. That's going to be... Oh, okay. Is that coffee or is that tea too? I think this mm. is tea. I think we got two teas. Two teas, everybody. Woo! Tea tea. Yes, we have an Esmond stove and uh, some fuel tabs. Flip that over. We're going to have a match and some... Or uh, at least a striking surface. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Check this out, you guys. That little red bit on the end of each of these fuel tabs is the match. Holy shit. That's really cool. Um, I do want to say this. I'm not going to use this Esmond stove because the stove itself, it's a really tinny, really thin, really tiny little janky son of a bitch. And it's not going to, 
Like it'll just scorch this thing. Um, so we're not gonna use the stove, but how cool is that? The, uh, the fuel tabs themselves have a striking uh, surface that goes with that part. Bitchin'. Alrighty. Very smart. That is awesome. That is very cool. Okay, this is going to be a uh, rice porridge with beef, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna open that up. Sweet. Wait a minute, man. I'm not, where's my apple jelly? I thought this was gonna have apple jelly in it. Is this apple jelly? See, oh, oh, okay, I thought I thought this was drink mix. All righty. This is probably the apple jelly, you guys. There we go. Okie dokie, cool beans. And we got a- Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Can you give that the old uh, bendy test for me on camera there? All right, yeah, that's that's okay. That's a pretty decent spoon, it's gonna work. All righty guys, we're gonna get this all sorted out. I'm gonna stop using my friggin' hand and uh, we'll be right back. All righty guys, we are back. So what we have here, we have a beef and rice porridge. It does say uh, kasha on the um, package here. Ooh, it's really hot. It says kawa right there, ow. Um, but I don't think this is the kasha that I know, like if, if kasha just is sort of an all-encompassing term, let me know in the comments. Um, I thought kasha sort of specifically meant the buckwheat porridge. This should be rice porridge, but we'll check it out in a minute. We got some crackers, we have our apple jelly, we have our eggplant caviar, I got tea, I got sugar, salt and pepper. This, you guys, not a uh, extra pack of tea. This is actually a wet nap, and so maybe in a minute we'll open it up and use it. But uh, first things first, what should we do? Let's get our tea going, uh, Mrs. Mickey Joe. So I have my cup, I'll hand that to you. Let's put the tea bag in it, you're gonna have to tear the package. See, that's the thing, like I still have some uh, movement in my right arm, but the tensile strength in my right hand is, uh, is gone to shit. I can't even click down the lids on my to-go uh, containers without really biting myself and it hurts and it sucks. Okay, so, yes indeed, we got our tea bag in our tea. We're gonna pour some hot water in here. Can we do it over here? So all the nice folks at home can see what's going on. We've had this tea before, guys. I think I've had this particular brand at least three or four times. It is good tea. Um, what makes it Super good tea is the fact that we have a 20 gram pack of sugar to put in it, but we'll do that in a minute. Okie dokie. Um, the tea's steeping. Let's let that steep for a minute before I, I want to try it before I put the sugar in it. But um, yeah, Mrs. Mickey Joe, let's let's open up some food and eat it up. Once again, we got our beef and rice porridge. How stoked are you to try this, Mrs. Mickey Joe? Oh, I'm so excited. Now, you guys probably don't know this, but the very first Russian ration I filmed, the, the first 24 that I had, um, it's maybe my second or third video. Um, Mrs. Mickey Joe was standing just off to the side, and she did eat everything with me, sort of, after I turned the camera off. You have to pardon me. I'm a girl. I can't get this open. All right. Do we need to poke it? I can grab T'Challa. Oh, wait. You got it? Guys, I had T'Challa. All right, here we go. Yes, yes, Mrs. Mickey Joe. She's still figuring out the whole standing behind the uh, the tripod doing the, the YouTube thing. But yeah, she's doing good. Me. All right, so, so yeah, let's flip that over. You can use the spoon to, like, pop it out if you need to. You don't have to get the lid all the way off. Let's just flip it over. Boom! That came out quite nicely. I, with my good hand, will sort of use this spoon to break it up a little bit. Maybe Mrs. Mickey Joe can grab this tray, bring it up to the camera. We can get a good look at this. Wow, it's gelatinous as hell. The, uh, the beef in there is really red. Really red. Yeah, woof. But it's nice, big, flaky chunks of beef. Hold on a second. Let's break it up a little bit because that just looks like the gelatinous glob. <laughs> and it's really not. It's it it's 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 a nice bunch of food. All right, let's get that in up close, guys. We got a bunch of rice. 
we have a fair amount of beef in here, and the beef we do have is nice big chunks. Uh, yeah, let's check this out. All right, it's kind of flat where it was in the package. I'm going to go in on it, though. Mmm. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing special about that. It's nice and hearty. The rice has just sort of soaked up the beef flavor. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Mrs. Mickey Joe, go ahead and try it. Let's steep our tea, guys. Let's get your thoughts. I do have the salt and pepper. We might use that. Hmm. Not too bad. Look at the beef in there. Nice mm -hmm. big chunks of beef. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Guys. Mm. Guys, I'm liking this. Mmm. That's pretty tasty. Actually. Yeah. That's not bad, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mmm. The more you eat, the better it gets. This, Mrs. Mickey Joe, would you agree that this would be a super wicked good, like, grilled on a flat top? With a nice runny mm -hmm. egg on top. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know I say that about a lot of stuff, but it's true. You guys, runny eggs on top of, like, grilled things from flat tops is always a good idea. Always a good idea. All righty. Let's open our crackers and our jam and our uh, eggplant caviar. Woo. I might just keep, keep going on this. I don't need the salt and pepper at all. I thought maybe I'd put the salt on it. I don't think I'm going to. Guys, this is awesome. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm glad that this is what I picked to have for dinner tonight. Now, Mrs. Mickey Joe has tried a lot of bites of mostly mains of a lot of the rations that I've eaten. She hasn't really gotten into the crackers and the sides and stuff, so I'm going to be excited to see what she thinks about this. I think all of this stuff is incredibly hard to open. All right. But I am... Oh, she got it. This. She got it, guys. All right, let's just move these crackers. The crackers are pretty broke and beat up, but that's all right. No, we got some in here that are good. That's okay. Just go ahead and dump them out in there. Yeah, it's kind of a whole thing having to stand behind the tripod, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's kind of a whole thing. She's got some more respect for what I do. My craft, my art, you guys. All righty, so the crackers, check it out. They're not salted. Um, they are nice and buttery though. These are basically saltines. Are you eating more of that? Oh, nice. <laughs> right. Uh, basically saltines with no salt. So just teens. They have a very nice crunch to them on their own. Yeah, just have this one. Have this piece. Mmm. They're good crackers. Honestly, I have not had a bad cracker in a Russian ration. I am excited to do the jam and also do the uh, eggplant caviar. I think I think Mrs. Mickey Joe's going to like this stuff, you guys. Yeah? I do. I really do. All right. This tea has been going for a few minutes. It's nice and dark already. I'm just going to pull that bag. I'm not going to squeeze it. I'm not going to put the sugar in first because I don't want to upset all the European folk. But I do want to try this tea. It's nice. It's steamy. It smells good. Mm hmm That's just black tea. Watch out. That, that glass is hot, mama. Mm. It's good, though. I tell you what, it's going to be a hell of a lot better with 20 grams of sugar in it. Yeah. Basic tea. All right. So it's tea. We've agreed that it's tea-flavored tea. Yeah. I'm going to do this. I got a bad arm, but my bad arm can still pour 20 grams of sugar. Yeah, you get to eat, open up the easy package. There we go. Yeah, that one was easy. Speaking of difficult packages, let's get this guy going. Because I think you might like it. I know she's going to like the, uh, the apple jam. And I know I'm going to like it too. If you guys remember, the apple jam and the crackers may have been the best part of the entire... Uh, 
24 hour Emercom versus the Kazakhstan ration video that I did. If you want to scroll, oh god, that hurt. If you want to scroll right down there, it's about halfway down, guys. It was the only comparison video that I've ever done, but I might do another one. If you guys watched it and liked it, leave me a note in the comments. Tell me if you want me to do another comparison. Mm. Just by licking the spoon, I can tell you that that's got a lot of sugar in it. All right, check it out. Four hands in a ration video. Has this ever happened, you guys? Thanks for being with us today. It's crazy. Oh, my God. So much better. Hot. So much better. That is essentially hot McDonald's sweet tea right now. And uh, I know that's going to go over good with, with this one right here, guys. Mm. Let me get back to my main. This is my dinner. Yeah, it's like McDonald's sweet tea, right? Woo, money shot. Only probably mm. more real. Yeah, true. Very true. But Mickey D's is its whole own thing, you know? I don't love it, but it's it's a separate entity from everything else. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I won't. Mmm. Guys, this main is 100% legit. I'm loving it. All right. Let's each do a piece of these crackers in this uh, eggplant caviar. Now, we did heat this up. I know that if it's warm, it is a little better than if it's not. Look at that. Mm. Mm. It's just interesting. Now, I'll tell you something. If I'm going to use this salt packet right here on anything, it'd probably be that, right? Do you feel like it needs some salt? I would have to agree. Let's put the salt on it. Which one is it, though? <laughs> I think, um... I'm going to say it's... I think it's that one. I think it's this one. Let's check it out. Oh, I picked correctly. I chose wisely. All right, let's get. Eh, let's just put the rest here for shits and giggles. Alrighty, perfect. You know what? I never do this, you guys. So let's just do it just for the sake of doing it. We're doing it for science. From a boy Sticky for science. Sticky's been absent for a long time. Sticky, I miss you. If you're watching, I miss you. All right, salt and pepper on our food. We got our sugar in our tea. This is going really good. Let's get that jam going, Mama. <clears throat> Let's get this apple jam working. Mm. What do you want me to do here? Um, I don't know, like open it so we can eat it. Uh, you can, yeah, why don't you just, ooh, did you hear that, guys? Why don't you just squirt it right on in there? There we go. There we go. Things are happening. Oh, yeah. This looks good, you guys. There we go. That nice sort of... It, gritty's not the right word, but it certainly has a texture to it. Wow. That doesn't look like much. That doesn't look like much compared to how big the package was. It's just a little nubbins. But we're going to give it a shot anyway. I want to I want to stir this. Get that salt and pepper worked in here. And we'll have a bite and we'll see if that's any better. Hmm, here we go. Got some salt and pepper in our eggplant caviar. It doesn't look awesome. Hey, you know what? I, I think that helped. I want to say that helped. You're going to have to try. But I think it helped. Now, I know you're going to love this apple jam. It's good. It's just good. I'm going to get back to this with the salt and pepper on it. It's going to be even better. Oh my god, look at all the hands in the frame, you guys. This is nuts, right? <laughs> is it too much to handle? Mmm. Mmm. Borderline too salty now. My bad. It's not going to stop me from eating it, but it is. It did not need the salt and pepper. Mmm. That's better, though. That's better, right? All right. 
Cool beans. I'm getting the old battery thing on the camera here. So we're definitely going to have to get into this apple jam. That's very, really good, right? Very the yummy. crackers you don't you don't need salt on them. No. You kind of want salt on them, maybe, but like they're they're fine. They're fine the way they are. Eh, okay. All right. There we go. Be kind of nice. That hurt, guys. One package with the salt and one package. They without. just don't make they just don't make salted ration crackers. No. Well. If you want salted crackers in a ration, uh, guys, if I'm what is it like eighty four and before brown bag uh, U S rations had salty crackers, and I have had a lot of people tell me to just lick the crackers and sprinkle salt on them. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like that's hey. that's a suggestion. And let them sit, let your sort of lick dry off, and all of a sudden they're salted crackers, right? Okay, guys, it's freaking great. Russian single meal. I'm gonna keep hammering at this, even though I don't really like it. I feel like if I eat enough of it, I will like it, which is weird. Amazingly, I think it tastes better than I thought it would. Yeah? It's Mrs. Mickey Joe's first foray into eggplant caviar. You guys, this tea is the tits with all that sugar. It's so good. Mmm. This main, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I would eat that once a week with just very little mm. complaining on my part. Especially if you could grill it, make it crispy, get it hot, and throw a fried egg on top. That'd be freaking awesome. That would be delicious. That'd be delicious. What do you think? What do you think? It was Sca good. Scale of one to ten, the whole the whole thing as a whole package. A scale, huh? Yeah, uh, scale of one to ten. Throw me under the bus here. Uh, I don't know. I'd say like you just fit seven, better. Seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. That's pretty good. I mean, it's tasty. I mm -hmm. Stuff I could actually mm -hmm. eat. Yeah, there is nothing in here that I'm like, meh. This would be better if it was blah blah blah. This is all very good. I'd probably put it on an eight and a half, nine sort of range. Um, maybe not quite a nine because I have had a lot of stuff that is better than this. But guys, this is a hell of a ration. Russian single meal. Thank you so much for watching. Let's big round of applause for Mrs. Mickey Joe right over. Oh god damn it, that hurt. Big round of applause, Mrs. Mickey Joe. Thanks for helping me out. Hopefully next week I will be able to do this on my own. That is yet to be determined. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Good night.